So one of the things that really appeals to people about design thinking is that it comes with this awesome open source toolkit that is freely available to everybody. And um, it pays, whether you're a newbie or a pro, to go back on a regular basis to have a look at your basic form on some of the classic tools, you know, to make sure that you're, you're doing it as well as you can be, the basic hygiene stuff, sort of like doing squats at the gym. And once you've got that, once you check on that, to make sure that you go back and start to push those tools to see how far you can take them to get more out of them. Because there's no right or wrong way of using a design thinking tool. It's one of the glorious things about them. And any practitioner worth their salt is going to have their own take and their own angle and tweaks as to how they find that they get the most out of them in different contexts. So this is my take. Uh, I have published a book called Stick It, which is a take on various uh, three different um, classic design thinking tools as well as an overview of the space. And I've based it on a long career of working in this space as well as years and years of teaching it at business school. So these are the tips and tricks that I have codified or observed in looking at them. And I give them to you to see if they can stretch what you're doing to make it any better. The three tools that we look at after going through some of the basic principles of design thinking are our sticky notes, which is, I know, who'd have thought you could write a chapter on sticky notes. It is the most ubiquitous design thinking tool, but it is also one of the most abused and it's easy to use them well. So many people don't do it. So I have a look at that and give you lots of tips and tricks as to how to stretch that. Uh, empathy maps, Dave Gray's amazing tool, which is so deceptively simple that I find that people trip over it or leave use useful bits out on a regular basis. So I go through what I see that, you know, the, the, the traps people fall into, as well as some other ways of pushing that if you want to take it deeper and look at more motivational stuff. And finally, the third tool is uh, problem framing, which is one of the most challenging uh, aspects of design thinking that people find. I find they continually hit up on a wall with this, but it is so important because uh, problem, problem framing is about problem finding and that is the core of, uh, of design thinking. So you don't take what you're given, you go look for the right level to come in at. So those are the tools. Please download the ebook. It's free. Details are below. And um, then have a look at the other videos that I've created to go along with this. So enjoy. Hope you find it useful and see you next time.